All right, I just wanted to show you this quick update video um, for the GPC integration for GLC V2 launches. Now, this might be a bit echo with this. I'm using a laptop. I've not got my headset with me today. Um, but yeah, let's just take a quick look. So here's a Valheim launcher that someone sent me. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the files that it installs just so I can show you um, exactly how this works. Let's delete that one as well. So <clears throat> what I'll need to do is just modify that version number first. So you'll typically run your launcher. <coughs> Excuse me. So I haven't decided how I want it to look inside GLC yet, um, but that's the last bit. The main th thing is it's working. So you set up a button like this. I'll just show you inside GLC exactly what it looks like. So if we edit this page, you can see here I've got two buttons. Um, so if you look at the properties for this button, uh, you simply execute game or app and you put in the name of your patch uh, executable, which is uh, patch.exe there, and that's a GPC patcher. Um, and then you can send your command line, so uh, Y1 for GPC means debug login enabled, um, and S1 means a silent install, so it won't show the patch window because we want to display the progress of the patcher inside our launcher. So we just need to check check this box here which is GPC uh, live communicate that's all we need to do like that and this button here does the same thing except we have an additional uh, command line parameter here of I1 and that means do a file integrity check so you can have multiple GPC buttons so your users can check for uh, make sure that the file integrity um, is in place and you know there's no files that are corrupted or have been deleted or need updated and if they do GPC will update them this one can be um, just uh, to ensure that the user is up to date and patched so this is the launcher running here the GLC v2 launcher so if we click on this one this is where the patch is so you can see it's trying to run the patcher we click on yes now you can't see the patcher window um, because it is hidden um, and in, in matter of fact um, let me just Close that down a second. I just need to, as you can see, I'm still I'm still developing this. So, um, but I reckon it's going to be finished in a couple of days. Let's just run it again. So we go to launcher, run the launcher. Okay, so we run the patcher. Yes. Now you can <laughs> you can see that this is not working because. Let me just close the patch down. Inside GLC, this button wasn't checked. This checkbox wasn't checked. So I'm not telling it to communicate with the GLC launcher. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to build that, rebuild it, shall I say. And I only need to copy the data folder over here. Don't need to copy anything else. Replace. All right, so we can close DLC down. We can run the launcher now. Click on this. Run the patch, and as you can see, forget the patch complete. As you can see now, we are displaying that it's actually running. If I look at the process, <clears throat> the patcher GPC patcher is running, but it's a silent window because we've told it to be silent. So it's actually running um, as a, an invisible window, doing the patching, and it's reporting back to the GLC v2 launcher um, the status of what's going down. So basically, um, it will um, look like the patching process is done directly from the launcher because it's communicating directly with your GLC v2 launcher. Uh, so <clears throat> there's no limitations on this. You can still send all your command lines that you need to send. You can do debug login, full debug login, everything's still intact. Um, what I am going to do is see the length of this file name. I'm going to cut it down to just the file name here. So it just stops the text from dropping down a new line and um, just stops this massive 
uh, text line because we don't need all that. We just need to tell the user that we're 33% way through on the patching and uh, the file name of what's been patched. This is the download percentage. As you can see, it's downloading this file. So it's downloading that. Now, <clears throat> you'll notice that the increments on the percentage are going up in like five, two, three, four, five percent. And it's because the reason for that is because we have to write, um, we have to write, communicate between the, the patcher and the launcher. So rather than doing this at um, 100 and, what is it, uh, 500 frames a second, it will just slow everything down. So I've just set it at an interval um, of around three milliseconds to update. So it's not, um, you know, it's not 100% um, accurate on the reporting. Uh, and the reason for that is because the more we write to the hard drive, the slower everything's going to be. So I've just put in a little interval to stop it. But, I mean, it works on the whole. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be, um, you know, 100% bang on. But it, um, it's good enough. So, as you can see, we're just downloading all these patches now. So it's installing all the game files. Um, to this folder so when this is finished I'm going to show you uh, how we can do the file integrity check and I'm going to show you how fast it actually works as well so this is uh, download none of the files are installed so it's downloading the entire um, structure for this Valheim launcher which shouldn't take too long But this is going to be part of the DLC add-on for Game Launcher Creator V2, which you can check out in our Discord. Um, there's a channel for it in our Discord server. It's the GLC V2 DLC add-on development. Um, and you can also um, subscribe to the development. If you donate to the development, if you pledge towards the development as we're doing these features, you'll get six months free. If you do from beta upwards, you'll get six months free free usage plus you'll get an additional uh, few months because the beta testers that have donated from the beta pledge the beta pledge upwards they're already using these features so you can get on board and start using and testing these features with us um, just simply by pledging uh, through the discord channel um, glc v2 dlc add-on development um, so yeah, we already have uh, a few users in there that have pledged um, and I thank you all for your pledges, your development pledges help us to develop these kind of features and integrate them. Um, it's fantastic. It's been, the reception has been really good. Um, the support has been massive from everybody, which is really good um, because it just makes GLC V2 um, even more powerful than what it was. Um, and the fact that game patch creator users can now link their patches directly into the GLC V2 launcher is even better because it means your user never has to leave the launcher. You can literally do all your patching and stuff uh, and it will communicate live with your launcher. So obviously I'm going to put some customization in here so you can customize a few things as well. Make it look how you want, make it fit your launcher design. So that's the last file, I think, the WinHTTP. So as you can see there, um, that patch is complete now. So it says in the launcher itself, patching is complete. So if I close that down and rerun the launcher, now we know all the files are, are complete. So if we hit this button, it's gonna do a file integrity check. So it's gonna check all the game files that we've got installed and just make sure that they all match up to the ones on the server. So we just do that. And as you can see, it'll start touring through all the files that are installed and just making sure that all the file integrities are in check, uh, the file sizes are correct and the date modification stamps are okay. If not, it will patch them. Uh, but you have a host of different options that you can play with with GPC. So all the command lines are fully supported. Um, so you can have as many buttons as you like for as many different configurations as you want. You can do file integrity checks, you can do uh, version rollbacks. There's many, many more things that you can do with GPC. So if you've not got GPC, it's definitely worth checking out over at gamepatchcreator.com um, because they are now going to be fully uh, integratable and fully compatible with GLC v2 launchers. So you can now not only develop your own launchers, custom launchers, but also your own custom patches and integrate them both together.
Um, and there you go. So that's just a little bit of a development update, just to let you know how we're getting on with the uh, DLC uh, add-on development. Uh, right, I'm going to go and grab a coffee. I'll see you later.